Okay, so here we go. We're in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15. Now, this right here is in conjunction of what I was speaking about in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, concerning brothers who like to say that, um, oh, I'm keeping all of the laws over here. You're not keeping it properly. But you don't even know how to keep the laws properly yourself. You don't even know all of the laws to keep, all right? But you want to claim that you have a little discrepancy with certain brethren because, you know, oh, I think that they're not keeping the law properly or they're keeping laws that we're not supposed to be keeping, so I don't want to deal with them, right? You know what I'm saying? All because you yourself don't want to keep certain laws, all right? Maybe because you're ashamed. I don't know. Maybe you don't know how to keep the laws. I don't know. But there's an underlying cause for that. You know what I'm saying? For all of you so-called OT Israelites who don't believe in the faith of Hamashiach, right? Who want to be rebellious towards the New Testament, okay? When it works in conjunction with the Old Testament, as I just proved to you in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, right? But this is what it says here in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15, man. All right? Verse 22. And Samuel said, Have the Most High Power as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord, meaning you have to obey the Most High Man and His Word. If you want to call yourself a true believer in the Most High Power of Israel, the God of the Bible, you have to obey Him, meaning do what He bid you to do, command you to do. Wear those fringes, man. Keep that Sabbath, all right? Don't try to use an excuse to say, oh, well, Hamashiach worked on the Sabbath, but Hamashiach was performing an emergency. You're not performing an emergency. You're going to work for hire, man. All right. And then on top of that, you're not Hamashiach. OK, you're supposed to follow Hamashiach example to overcome the world, man. And the Most High sees this. He sees your heart. He knows your true intentions, man. So if you don't want to do a certain law that he commands us to do, it's because you don't want to do it. It's not because, oh, we're in captivity. Oh, oh, this is a law that we really don't have to keep. You don't have to worry about it, right? But this is what Samuel says, man. And Samuel said, have the most high power as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the most high. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, okay? So all of the laws that you want to keep and all of the other laws that you want to ignore, that's considered a sacrifice onto the Most High without obeying His voice, man. If you call yourself truly obeying the Most High power, okay, you got to keep all of the laws to the best of your ability, man, right? Now, just like I said before in part one and two, there's going to be laws that we can't keep. That's the reason why Hamashiach was sent into the world. Okay, to give us that grace and that mercy from the Most High for the laws that we can't keep. But for the laws that we can keep and help keeping, we should keep them, man. Keep that Sabbath. Keep that dietary law. Keep the high holy days. Wear those fringes, man. Get rid of that hate, envy, and jealousy in your heart of your brethren, man. Okay? All right? So this is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Right? Behold, to obey is better than to sacrifice and to hearken, okay, than the fat of rams. All right, so you can keep all of the laws you claim to keep, okay? You can keep all of the high holy days you claim to keep, okay? But if you're not obeying the most highest commandments, okay, especially the Big Ten, all right, then the Most High is going to reject you for that, man, because to obey is better than to sacrifice. So you can't sacrifice onto the Most High what you want, just as Cain did. You know, the Most High asked for some meat. All right. He asked for a lamb, man. He asked for a sheep. What did Cain do? Cain gave him some vegetables, man. You know what I'm saying? Being a vegan out there, trying to turn the Most High to a vegan. The Most High said, Negro, I want some meat. All right. I don't want no vegetables. That's why he was rejected and turned down, man. And then the next thing you know, a root of bitterness developed in him. Then he developed a hatred and an envy for his brother Abel. That's the reason why he slew him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's seen 
that the Most High seen Abel's heart and his sacrifice, and he counted him worthy for that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, you don't want to be like a cane out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Give on to the Most High what's due. Give on to the Most High what he requires of you, what he bids and commands you to do, man. All right? Out of 10 laws, you just can't do seven and say, oh, okay, I'm going to ignore the other three, and the Most High is going to accept that. You know what I'm saying? Like the Most High knows your mind and he knows your, like the Most High, he knows your mind, but you don't know the Most High's mind. You don't know if he's going to accept that or not. You know what I'm saying? So you, if you call yourself truly following the laws of the Most High and having faith in the Most High is only one and only true son, Hamashiach, right? You got to do what they say, man. Just like children with their parents. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be happy with children that obey their commands, man, that does what they say. Okay? For children who don't obey their parents, man, you know, and they do other things like give them gifts and stuff like that, those parents is not going to be happy. They're not going to be happy with those children because they always going to have in their subconscious mind, yeah, my kid gave me a gift, but they don't do anything I say. They don't obey me. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I tell them to come help me with groceries, they don't come help me. If I tell them to uh, rub my back, if my back is sore, they don't do it. They disrespect me with that. They go off and do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't respect my commands. If I call them to come here so I can ask them something or tell them something, they don't come. Whenever I call a phone or whatever, they don't ever answer. You know what I'm saying? If that parent knows that their kids are not busy. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's ways that you can dishonor your parents, man. But I'm just using that as an excuse of how disobedient Israelites don't obey the Most High's commands, man. But they claim that they keep the laws of the Most High. They are faithful and is one and only true son, Hamashiach. And they keep all of the laws. But they're not keeping it properly. Okay? They're keeping the laws the way they want to keep the laws, man. And you're not supposed to do that. Right? So that's the reason why it says this here, man. Verse 22 again from the top. And Samuel said, Have the most high power as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the most high power. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams, man. Right? So that's what it's all about. You know, serving the most high with willingness of heart as it says in the book of exodus right so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here hopefully that it was enjoyable hopefully that it was edifying for the people and an exhortation video for the ones who's fully aware of who they are according to the biblical scripture and keeping the laws of the most high and believing in this one and only true son hamashiach right so next time once again Brother Yahweh and I got surround from the sea souls of Israel, the rocks of offense, and also the ambassadors for righteousness. Once again, dropping you this other edifying, gratifying video. Hopefully that it was enjoyable. Till the next time, I say Shalom.